President Barack Obama signed his first bill today, and it provides equal pay for equal work among men and women. That bill was sponsored by Bay Area Congressman George Miller. The new law will make it easier for workers to sue for discrimination. Political reporter Mark Matthews has the details. With Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Concord Congressman George Miller standing right behind him, President Barack Obama signed the bill and then hugged the woman whose name is on the new law. It is fitting that the very first bill that I signed, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Restoration Act, that it is upholding one of this nation's founding principles that we are all created equal. Before today, you could only file a discrimination suit within six months of first experiencing a pay gap. The new law allows lawsuits to be filed years later, as long as the pay discrimination continues. Opponents like Southern California Congressman Howard McKeon say it'll lead to a flood of lawsuits. Trial lawyers, you can be sure, are salivating at this very prospect. But both Hall Law Professor and practicing union attorney David Rosenthal says there is another statute of limitations. I can only go back two years. The law is very clear that if I file a claim today, I can go back two years and collect back pay only for those two years. Rosenthal points out that it is not a huge incentive for trial lawyers. A difference of $3 an hour on the job would result in a maximum claim of around 12000 The president of San Francisco's Equal Justice Society says lawsuits that do result from this new law they're probably a good thing. So this is just a way to bring justice to the American worker. Lily Ledbetter will not see any money from her lawsuit because of this new law. Her former employer, Goodyear Tire and Rubber, issued a statement saying the new law will erode prompt reporting of discrimination. In the newsroom, Mark Matthews, ABC 7 News.